my opponent was Michelle Zhang. So she's like, um, I think she's a grad student at Princeton. Grad student, yeah, I think grad student. Um, so her AG was four down, but she entered the tournament as five down. So I think she won the first game, so then I played her the next game. Um, but yeah, she actually, I think she like won her section or something, like overall with the three two record. But I uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, she, I was white in this game again. Um, against weaker players, I usually like to play 3-4 because I can make things more complicated and usually they're not as good at Doseki and like, especially with this move I know so many of the variations that uh, I, I just like playing it. <clears throat> especially with the facing 3-4s, like you can, so like after you have this here, then if they approach again you can do the same thing again, it's kind of fun, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, if there's anything you think could be changed, uh, let me know. I basically just like stuck things together. Although I didn't really know exactly like how to take up the space, and some things had to be stretched and kind of killed the aspect ratio. But uh, we'll we'll fix it as things go along. But um, <clears throat> yeah. So this up here in the top right is a pretty common Jessica. Um I've played it in a lot of my games. Um, if you haven't seen them, then I don't know where you've been because I play this almost every single game I play. If, if like this pincher occurs, Re actually recently I've been playing the R18 variation. Um, this one, just because I saw it in pro games more recently. But um, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna go into it right now. I'll be for another day. So this is a pretty uh, common uh, Jessica. Um, basically, if you don't know, um, I don't remember. I think Yunshan made made a video on this. Maybe I can find it and post it later. But basically, if Black plays here, you screw them over like this, and then the game's basically over. Because um, here, like Black gets nothing, you get corner and all that stuff. Um, but there's a lot of different variations. Like Black can play here, Black can play here. Uh, Spark can even play here, this is the variation for a period of time. Um, but this is probably the most common. After this, uh, Black can also play he here. This is also a relatively newer variation. Um, you can either play here or you can play here. There's a lot more variations, I'm not going to really go into them right now. But there's a lot of things that you can do. But yeah, so we played the pretty simple variation. Um, I think pros think it's a little bit better for white too, and basically because white gets to play on both sides, even though blacks with sente, like white gets to play on both sides, so it's a little bit faster for white, I think. Uh, and black played here. Um, I approached here, so this is kind of normal opening principle. So like, if black plays one wing, usually you just approach on the other side. Uh, to stop Black from like kind of making a double wing. So, like, for example, if I played here, then Black plays here, then uh, the shape is not bad for Black. So I, normally I just uh, push from the other side. Uh, because this is low, um, normally if Black pinches, then you can just uh, take the corner, which is what happened in the game. But I think normally Black will Black normally just plays here. So this way, this stone kind of completes the shape after. Which is like this, right? And then this stone is where it should be, and then Black has Sante, you can play somewhere else. <laughs> but in the game, she pincered, and I don't think this is a very good move because after the Joseki, you can see that the stone is kind of low, so it's very easy for White to just reduce uh, the framework here. Um, in the game, I just played here immediately because that's what I thought you're supposed to do, like. From books, I don't know the way I read it or if I saw it from a lecture, but for my entire life, I thought you were supposed to play this immediately. And then after the game, I was discussing it with some other people, and like, apparently, you don't have to. Like, you don't need to play there right now, or you can play somewhere else. Maybe a little bit early, but eh. 
I mean, the situation is still already kind of bad for Black. Like, because Black basically gave up the corner and isn't really going to get a lot for it. That's the main problem. Let me take some water. <clears throat> so basically, uh, Black pushed like this, and you can see already, like, it's really hard to attack these three stones because there's so many outs on the outside. So this influence isn't really going to do that much. Plus there's some weaknesses around like D7, D8. Um, White can play like a stone around F5 and Sente to threaten the Kaya. So black shape is also really thin. Uh, so this move probably isn't that good because it's kind of giving me the corner for free and then you know, if black plays on this side anyways, then you're not going to want to, like, play on this side. Like, you're going to want to play on the other side. This way, black kind of just gave me the corner for free. And you kept pushing. So now you see that this wall here and this stone are very close to each other. So it's pretty over-concentrated. So I think right now, like, the game's already pretty good for white. Um, I just took the opportunity to cut, and she connected, and then I started attacking these three stones. Um, she tried to resist a little bit, but I think the game is already pretty hard for black. Because you can see now that if one white can threaten the connection, two black just kind of has these random stones floating around, and three blacks position at the bottom is really funny because it's not really making any territory um, it's really over concentrated and if you consider that black this used to be black's corner in the beginning and now it's white's corner like black didn't really get a lot in return plus I got this other corner in the bottom right as well so white is doing pretty well he pushed uh, continued oh so here um, <clears throat> she's a death note I've played here because this one, it reduces the liberties on white's group and it also makes it harder for white to play this move because there's a possibility of a cut here, uh, a wedge. Um, so this move is pretty important. Also, it's just uh, more secure on the corner because if you play, if you play here, like, it's a little bit, it's a little bit lax. So, like sometimes white can just like attach here or something later. Um, and I get some more moves against the corner to a better attack this group. So normally if you face the situation and this move, if this cut doesn't work, then usually you should just play here. Yeah. Um, let's see. So in the game she just played here, I jumped out. Now you can see the difference between this move and this move. If C15 were at D15, then she could wedge here later. Um, which it's it's a pretty big difference if any fighting happens at the top. Oh shoot! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, no one saw that. Okay, so uh, so here I cut. Um, yeah, and then she put here. This is a pretty good move actually. I didn't think about it, and I spent a lot of time reading here. Basically, it's a ladder breaker that also threatens to seal my group in. Um, so after a lot of reading I put here, because the problem is that even if she seals me in, so if she plays something like, uh, let's just say she plays here, right? Um, this kind of, I can play like a sente move here. And now black has a problem because she has to defend both this stone and also stop me from uh, cutting this clump of black stones off. So if she plays here, I'll just play here. If she defends here, then I th believe this works now. Because even if she plays here, I can just play like this, and then uh, I'm connected. So, this move, the idea is really good, but the problem is that black is still a little bit thin in the center, so it doesn't really work. Like, she's a little bit, she's a little bit thin like in this connection here. If she had like another stone like here, then it'd be pretty good and white would be in pretty big trouble. Um, so then she just put here instead, defended that, and then I kind of ran out. 
And now the game is pretty easy for White to finish up. Basically, just as long as this group lives, like White should have enough. Uh, so yeah, um, this is kind of she misread here, and then the game was pretty much over. I uh, played a few more moves. Uh, but yeah, so that was the end of the game. Basically, Buck didn't really have any much to do after this. These died. Um, Buck should play the Broken Rider and kill the J5 stones. Uh, let's see. Um, so if Buck was here now, they're saying something like, uh, maybe like this. Maybe something like this. I guess you could, but then the problem is there's still this this cut here, so then you become the liberty race. I don't think black can win this. It looks like white has more liberties. Uh, just I don't know, pretend here. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven liberties at most. White already has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. White has like nine liberties, so it, yeah, white white has more than enough liberties already. But, I mean, yeah, that's a good idea, but... I think any move that Black plays, um, it's not gonna really work, because Black is just, like, too thin in the center to do much. Yeah. If you play here, for example, like... Uh, I don't know, what are you gonna do? It's just, it's just too thin. It's, the problem is that, like, it's just a, this is a sente, so then Black has to defend just cut it off. If black plays like here now, then of course you cannot steal white in. So it's it's pretty it's pretty difficult for black. But yeah, so that was the second round. Um, I don't know. It wasn't. I think I feel like after she played here, um, like after this she pinched here, like um, I felt like the game was not bad for white. Alright, let us move to the next game. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder outside, but it's thundering a lot. 